888-344-1474. Welcome back. You're listening to the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Shalom Klein. You're listening to Get Down to Business. You can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at shalomkline.com. While you're there, don't forget, follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein, where you can get a sneak peek of the guests that will be on next week's show, all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. So thrilled to be joined by Lori Sackler, who is a financial advisor, senior vice president, and senior investment management consultant at the Morgan Stanley Wealth Management Group, where she leads the Sackler Group. Uh, uh, more importantly, for the purpose of this conversation, she has uh, uh, authored a, a, a book, The M Word Journal, um, which is a fantastic resource. I've enjoyed uh, reading it. And uh, Lori talks a lot about the difficult conversations. Lori, welcome to Get Down to Business. Oh, well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be on your show. Absolutely. So you talk a lot about the M-Word Journal, how to have the money talk. Uh, This is a great follow-up to the conversation we just had with Dave Kramer about the $500 cup of coffee. But tell us, uh, I I believe that behind every book, there's a story there. Why did you decide to author um, this book and, frankly, this very important resource? Well, thank you for for the question because, yeah, there is the story behind this. So... uh, I, uh, at the age of 23, my, my mom passed away, and it beca- became very clear to me I needed to become uh, financially um, knowledgeable and somewhat independent, and so I chose a new career path for myself. From being a musician, I decided to go back to school, and I also realized there was a need for some sound professional advice beyond my own personal circumstances, and as I was sort of... Going through my journey, I I discovered that families, not only my families, but um, many of the people that I know and and clients as well, were having, were struggling to have productive conversations around money. And when I did my research, I realized it's part of a much bigger problem. You know, a lot of people are dealing with transitions and changes in financial circumstances, you know, remarriage, et cetera, and that all these people of are really struggling with this taboo topic. So what I decided to do when I didn't see a lot of literature out there was to try to destigmatize, uh, demystify the whole notion of talking about money and to create a process, and particularly the M Word Journal is a how-to actually have those productive conversations so you can keep your money and your family relationships intact. Well, as I mentioned, it certainly is a very valuable resource for everyone, and I know yeah. that you have your, your personal story of, of how the, yeah. uh, obviously, your family, but regardless of, of whether, a, you know, what your family situation is, people need to be having this conversation earlier. They need to have a conversation at all, um, but frankly, the conversation needs to take place uh, earlier. Uh, tell, us, uh, the, tell us a little bit about what that conversation should look like. What are, what are the questions that, that people should be asking that might currently uh, just be uh, assumed? And, and as I've discovered, uh, that those assumptions likely are not a good idea. Well, I think it's helpful to maybe just describe the process you need sure. to follow. Because like any sort of difficult task in life, you need to be prepared. You need to think through how you're going to do it. So I have something I've developed, not the, not the P's and the Q's, but the P's and the R's. So you want to start off by understanding the reason. Why do you need to talk about money with someone in your family or a friend? You know, what are the, what's the transition that you're going through? What are the financial issues? The second step is, you know, you have to understand what are the roadblocks, you know, why can't you ask the questions you need to ask? You know, is it control? Is it can trust? And so what we're trying to do is help people overcome that so they can have the conversation. The third is prepare. I talk about making sure that you put yourself in the other person's shoes, that you understand where they're coming from. You prepare physically, logistically, and psychologically so you can really manage the conflict and figure out how to resolve it. The fourth is I call it pick the right pros. So I'm under, I'm of the uh, given my experience in this, um, this this conversation, I'm of the opinion that it's helpful to get third party help and professionals can can actually weigh in on can help you do it. And then finally, the fifth step is to create a process and repeat it because. Like anything that you're attempting to do, whether it's a, 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 a job interview, which is a process, or, you know, learning a new language, you have to continually figure out what's the best process and repeat it until you are successful. So that's sort of the, that's sort of the process I've created for people. And the journal breaks it down, including collecting the right information, because you need to have all the information in order to make these uh, conversations happen. And in, in your book, uh, Laura, you uh, also talk about, you provide some very valuable uh, communication tips as well, um, right. overcoming some of those roadblocks. And I, I yes. want to focus on that for a moment because I think that often is the reason why 
conversations sometimes don't take place is perhaps due to the awkwardness or perhaps uh, due to people just honestly not being prepared, but you take the guesswork out of it. So, so tell us a, a, maybe a sneak peek, a little tip uh, into what's available in the, in the M-Word Journal. Well, I think it's helpful to understand why it's such a daunting task. And there are some real reasons. You know, typically people will talk about issues around control and trust, right? Most families have those issues. But what I identify is four major areas that I think it particularly makes it difficult for people to talk about. First is cultural. It's a taboo. I mean, it's impolite to discuss. It dates back to our founding fathers. It's embedded in our language, part of our national character. So it's it's a tough place to go. The second is I call evolutionary instinctual. So Money is viewed, people are hardwired to view money as an object of threat and control. And why is that? Because the conversation is connected with sexual exchanges that were part of money transfers and primitive societies. And I actually have talked to uh, evolutionary psychologists about this. So as a result, we link the two together. They're equally difficult to talk about. And particularly for women, it it's really can be quite threat- threatening. The third reason is gender. You know, we are, men and women are hardwired differently. It's brain, in part brain physiology, and there have been a lot of studies to prove this, you know, 30 studies with a million participants. Women and men think differently about money. They create different investment strategies. They have personal, different personal communication skills and different risk tolerances. That's going to create a lot of conflict. And, we, and I, I talk about in the M-Word Journal how to resolve that. And then fourthly, I call family history and money personalities. You can actually diagram, we call it the moneygram, of, of how families have dealt with money through generations. If you came from a family where money was a it was an easier topic to talk about. There was a lot of planning and a lot of discussing. Then you're probably going to be able to do that and carry that on into the next generation. But if you come from a family that's not, it's really a challenge. And so it's, I believe you have to have a process and think it through so you can kind of, you have to change that pattern. So those are the reasons. And, you know, obviously what I'm trying to do is help people figure out what, what their family is going through. You know, what are the reasons, what are the roadblocks and how to overcome them? Well, uh, Lori, uh, once again, we're chatting with Lori Sackler, um, who is a financial advisor and uh, the author of the M-Word Journal, How to Have the Money Talk. And the book was actually just recently published um, on April 1st, I, I believe, was was the release. And it's a great companion to your groundbreaking first book, The M-Word, The yes, Money Talk, that every family needs to have about wealth and their financial future. And that was published in 2013 with the second edition in 2016. So yeah. uh, you certainly this, it sounds like this is something that obviously you know a thing or two about because of your uh, professional uh, role in, in financial uh, guidance and, and uh, financial planning. Um, but uh, it sounds like this is really a passion for you. So tell us a little bit about uh, the, where, where the book is available and some of the speaking that you're doing to get this message out there. Yes. Well, thank you very much. So, yeah, I'm doing a lot of podcasts and a lot of radio interviews. I've done some television. Um, I'm doing a lot. I've been writing on it. So you can actually go to uh, themword.com, which is my website, to find some information about it. You can also obviously obtain the book through Amazon and other sources. But, you know, I really am trying to promote the conversation, get people to really think about ways they can break down this kind of struggle that they're going through. And it's, it's, it's for all ages, all genders, you know, it's, regardless of economics, it's really an important conversation that needs to take place. It is an important conversation. So uh, before we let you go, we've got about a minute remaining. Where can our listeners find uh, the M Word Journal, the different uh, uh, books, fantastic resources? I keep using that term, but I really mean it. Valuable resources. Where can our listeners find them? And how can they learn more about you and the work that you're doing? Well, you know, as I said, you can go to my website. You can um, you can find a lot of. Um, a lot of stuff online. I'm trying. I'm in the process of posting everything to my website. It takes some time to get it through my compliance at Morgan Stanley. <laughs> I'm, you know, part of a large institution. And of course, um, you know, I, I urge you to you know start to think through. And if you if you do have the opportunity to pick the the, the first book up and the and the reprint version, you'll see a lot of the resource additional resources that you can go to as well. So that, yeah, that's fantastic. Lori Sackler, once again, the author of the M Word Journal. Uh, a fantastic, uh, fantastic resource for our listeners. And I encourage thank our so listeners to, uh, to learn more. Uh, thank you, Lori, uh, once again for joining us. We'll be sure to check back in, in with you because I'm sure you're going to have a lot more content and resources and advice uh, where, where the M-Word Journal came from. So thank you again. 
Thank you. Have a Absolutely. great evening. You okay. too. Uh, well, after the break, we are going to be checking in with uh, Jonathan Lee, who's the marketing director at Creative Promotional Products. Uh, it's Father's Day, after all, and, and gifts are in style, but it's also summer, and uh, gifts are in style for business owners uh, to show appreciation to clients. They're always in style. I'm always happy to take gifts from any of our listeners that want to uh, send something my way. You can find out how to contact me on that note at shalomkline.com. But don't touch that dial, Chicago. You're listening to Get Down to Business. We'll be back after the break. Uh. 